almost there. We are in the home stretch of the I-94 full freeway closure. Here is a live look from the Department of Transportation cameras. 94 was shut down at the zoo interchange to install that blue bridge you see right there. It's expected to reopen at 5.30 in the morning. That's about 12 hours from now. 12 News' Max Siegel is live along one of the detour routes. Max, how are people handling the change? Hey, Tony, so far drivers we've seen out here and talked to seem to be okay handling it all right, not hearing any major complaints so far. Want to take you behind us now, live right now at 5 30. And what we're looking at here is along Blue Mound Road. You might be able to make out some police in yellow vests. They're directing uh, that big semi truck you see right there and all the cars behind it onto a detour route around this freeway closure this weekend. Right now, DOT officials say they are on target to reopen 94 by 5.30 tomorrow morning. They say work to put up a new railroad bridge over the freeway has gone smoothly so far. When we were out in the area late this afternoon in the construction area, it appeared they had the bridge up, but crews were still doing some work on it. One driver I talked to said his game plan all weekend was simply avoiding this area. I've just been staying the heck away from it because it wasn't worth my time to try to, you know, sit through it all. And um, luckily, I've, I know my way around the city enough that I can get around without much of a problem. Now, we have one more interview at 7 o'clock with the DOT. Of course, if there are any changes, we will let you know. Live in Wauwatosa, Max Siegel, WISN 12 News. All right, Max, thank you very much. You'll see detour signs posted all along I-94. Now, here are a couple DOT suggestions. If you're heading east towards downtown, get off on Moreland Road and make your way over to 43 and take the bypass back to I-94. If you're heading towards Waukesha County from downtown, the DOT wants you to go south towards the airport and use the 894 bypass to the Rock Freeway. The zoo interchange is one of Wisconsin's oldest interchanges and is currently the busiest in the state. The DOT says the roads are deteriorating, so it's all getting redone. Construction will continue through 2018, and when it's done, the new design is supposed to improve safety and reduce congestion. Take a look at what the interchange looks like now. It's facing northeast, so the road in the upper right is going east to downtown Milwaukee. Now, when it's done, you can see a very different look right here. New ramps and new ways to get to where you're going. Here they are side by side. Most of this construction, reconstruction rather, is scheduled to take place from next year to 2017. Then a bulk of US 45 will be worked on through 2018. So prepare for orange barrels and detours for a couple more years. We're all getting used to this, right?